Um, first off, I thought UAB played exceptionally well. I thought they shot the ball. Uh, I guess it was eight for 19 in three-point line. They shot the ball and played plenty well enough to win. Uh, Coakley was a load and Bryant was a load. Um, and they're a very, very good team, well-coached team. You know, I, I never thought we were at our best all night long, really. Uh, we were fortunate, I thought, to be up at halftime of two, is that right? Five, up five at halftime. Didn't think we'd played particularly great offensively. But we come out the second half, um, and I guess Coakley went at us. I think Coakley scored the first seven points to take that lead on us and picked Dwight's second and third foul up. And it gave them a lot of confidence. It gave them a lot of momentum at that point. And we got to sub and go to our bench. And um, But we found a way, again, uh, to dig in when we had to, make enough plays when we had to, when we weren't our, weren't our best. You know, we're three for 15 from three-point line. But the one constant thing, um, and again, I don't have the exact stat, but if you'll take away the last probably six or eight free throws that they just fouled us to get to the line, maybe it was that many, uh, that free throw difference was the difference in the game. We had shot probably 22, 23 to their three. And that comes from just trying to pound it inside and drive it inside. And those were two things that got them in some fouls and got us that free throw line. That was a difference in a basketball game. So, again, anytime you can find a way to, you know, win uh, against a really good team, one of the better teams in this league, one of the teams picked to win it, and feel like you didn't play your best, um, it's always a good win. And that's kind of the way this is tonight. Can they defend you better than any team? You know, um, I'd have to go back and watch the film. We, we missed some shots. We missed some shots. But they did a very good job defensively. There's no question. They're a good team. You know, you don't go to Auburn and get play Auburn, you know, toe-to-toe -to -toe for like they did if you're not good. Um, they come in here and win in seven or eight in a row, whatever it's been, after that middle loss. Um, but they defend us good. Uh, they really did. Um, you know, Coakley's a load in there. But again, the second half, if you'll take away that first five minutes, we still shoot 56% the second half. You take away that first five minutes, we probably shot 70%. Uh, but again, you can't come out and give a team some confidence. That's what we did. You know, you're up five, you're gonna come up and go up 10 that first time out. And we didn't do that. And that's what gave them confidence, let them hang around. But the crowd was great. The crowd made a difference um, tonight. And you did your job. Um, and like I just said, the crowd can help us when things are going bad. When we're down seven second half, that's when we need them. And that's when they made a difference tonight. Uh, I think Josh has still got us going, got the crowd into it. And from that point, they stayed into it. So big win for us. Uh, that is done and over. Uh, get ready for the next one Saturday at 6 o'clock. How much of a spark was Josh tonight scoring offense, defense, you know? Like the big steal there, just everything did off the bench. You know, a week and a half ago, um, a week and a half ago, we didn't have that. Um, and again, Monte wasn't himself. You know, you know, since Charlotte, he really hadn't practiced hard because he's got a spasm in his back, and he just wasn't very good tonight. And he was guarding Brant. If I had to do that, do that over again, I would put in Tavion on Brian to start that game. We made that switch about 12 minutes ago in the game. When Tay came out, I put Josh in basically for good. Josh was huge for us, offensively and defensively. He guarded um, 12 points and three rebounds in 22 minutes. Pretty good stats coming off the bench. That's what you got to have. Guys adding to, and he's a guy I can add to. How impressed were you with your team's poise in the second half? down seven, but continuing to fight and come back? Yeah, I don't think we panic much. You know, seven-point lead nowadays is it's not a lot, um, especially when you feel like you're at home and you can get some emotion from your crowd. But uh, there was no panic in us because we know we can throw that ball to the block pretty good and stop that clock and get to the free throw line. And we got guys capable of making three-point shots. You know, I don't know. You guys got to tell me, did we – the second half, we want to make one three. Where's that three at second half? Uh, Justin. See, you know, just to make you only three. Um, and you got to have some guards jumping up, making some shots. I can't remember 
You know, I mean, we won for six the second half. Who all shot them? So we didn't shoot it very well. You know, Darius is over four. Jump up and make a three. Um, you know, I know Jake. You know, that was a three-point game right there, and we got Dwight in the post one-on-one. -on -one. If a little guy on him, and you know, that's a two and a half minutes go. You go get a foul. We don't need a three-point shot there. And I know he kicked it out for Jake for a long shot at that point. But, um, but again, found a way to win. Move on to the next one. Coach, I thought uh, Colby was just sort of irreplaceable for you in this game tonight. You saw the difference when he was on the court and when he wasn't. Well, there's no doubt. Um, after the first five minutes, second half, he wasn't very good the first five minutes, second half. Um, but to his credit, after that, he came back and was a man. Uh, we made a switch on that stretch a little bit too and put Justin on Coakley, trying to save um, Dwight in foul trouble. I thought Justin did a great job. I'm, Justin's got great instincts. Can see things happening a little quicker. Knows how to frame a little bit. Sometimes Dwight's lack of playing experience, he don't see that next play happen quite as quick before it happens as a guy like Justin. But he was a man in their second half. You know, I didn't think he played very great. You look at his stats, he's 17 11. Pretty good stats against some pretty good guys he was going against tonight. These type of games, championship team, championship team wins, you know, a good, good opponent coming to your home for 07 and find a way to get it done. Well, hey. You got to find ways to protect your home court. You know, everybody's good at home. You hear me say this all the time. Everybody's good at home. Uh, you got to go on the road and win. That's when you really find out what you're about to. But you got to protect your home court. And being at home, don't assure anything. Sometimes at home, I've always said this: players play up tight a little bit at home because the fans sometimes, people in the stands, uh, they have a little more tension about them on the road. Sometimes just us play a little bit more relaxed. But if you give us a choice which way we want it, we want it at home. We want the emotion of that building. And again, we did it, We did an emotion in this building come Saturday at 6 o'clock. Again, uh, I don't know who the fire marshal is here. I don't know who he is. I hadn't met him yet. That fire marshal's the one needs to tell us this place is full. Ticket office, they don't need to tell us. Fire marshal. They need to stack them around those concourses as much as we can stack them in here. So everybody, we say sell out, show up. There's still room for you. Make sure you air that. There's room, there's standing room in this place. There'll be some seats. So everybody show up Saturday for, you know, as we well know, probably the team has picked to win it. The team's kind of been at the top the last few years and uh, they got a very good team. Uh, they're going to be big, just like this team right here. Uh, they went to UAB and won, so I tell you how good they are. What's the biggest improvement you have to make before Saturday? Probably get some rest, make sure we're ready to go. There's not a lot we're going to do out there improvement-wise. Mentally, this game is so mental. You know, we can't get in the gym and shoot it to get better. It's, a, it's just a fine line mentally. Uh, you know, little things sometimes. But getting, putting this one behind us, getting ready for the next one, getting fresh and understand, you know, the battle we're up against against. Uh, we're up against come Saturday afternoon. You guys, y'all guys know this, you know, um, we, we found ways different nights, different people to be pretty good. Um, do, do I expect that to happen against Saturday? I do. I expect some guys maybe weren't, weren't at their best today to be pretty good Saturday. And that's happened for the most part for us. Um, so uh, our guys will be ready. They understand um, it's the biggest game of the year because of why. It is the next one. It is the next one. You're learning. I like that. I like that. Questions in the back. You mentioned with this really one day prep, you said it's more of a mental thing, but how do you kind of still approach getting ready for it, even if you know how big Saturday is? Well, you know, um, I don't have to. I don't have to tell our players, you know, about Middle Tennessee. You know, maybe if we're playing somebody else, you know, emotionally, you better make sure we're ready. Um, but just like you guys, y'all gonna be ready for Saturday, aren't you? Why is there a sellout Saturday? There's a reason. All right, players understand all that. Mentally, they're going. They understand that part of it. Now we got to be able to handle some um, details of what Middle's going to do. Um, it was good tonight. We saw a little bit of one-three-one. One. Middle's going to hit us with that. Um, so we're going to see that a little bit um, come Saturday. Um, but 
Um, again, it won't be easy. Middle's very good. And I'll say this again, Middle went to UAB and won. That tells you how good they are. I know Marshall got them tonight. Uh, it's tough to win on the road. It's tough to win on the road anywhere. That's why you got to protect your home court. So our guys will be ready. I believe that. Is that it? Anything else? All right. You make sure you tell them there's plenty of tickets yet.